So now we are going to try to attempt question 2. So refer to figure 2, write instructions to configure switch 1 as low priority interrupt and switch 2 as high priority interrupt. So let's have a look. So first and foremost, we know that switch 1, what is the interrupt source for switch 1? This is actually connected to INT1. So the interrupt source is INT1 and switch 2 is, is connected to INT2, so interrupt source 2. Now both of this uh, both of these interrupt sources belong to the core group so which means um, the control bits will be located in incon incon 2 or incon 3 now the question also did mention something else that uh, switch 1 as low priority and switch 2 as high priority so switch 1 as low priority and this one as high priority so let's write the instruction sequence so the first thing is we need to enable the priority scheme so that is in our con so we need to set the ipen bit and then so this is done and what we have to do next is we have to configure the control bits, the three control bits for each respective interrupt source. So we'll start with interrupt, interrupt one first. So we have to find, uh, so let's, let's go do the first thing. We have three control bits, the flag bit, the priority bit, and the enable bit. Now since interrupt one and interrupt two belongs in the core group, we have to find where does these three control bits is located whether is it in incon, incon 2 or incon 3. So let's take the, the flag register first, I mean the flag bit first. So we have to always clear the flag bit. Now we need to find out where is the flag bit located. So we can look here. So it is uh, interrupt 1, interrupt 1 flag. Okay, interrupt 1 flag is here. It, it is in incon 3. And the priority bit for interrupt 1 is also here. The enable is also here. Likewise, for interrupt 2, the flag is also here. The enable is here as well, and the priority is here. So great. Both these interrupt sources, uh, the control bits for these two interrupt sources are in incon 3. So what we need to do? Uh, under in con 3 register we need to clear the interrupt 1 flag bit and then because interrupt 1 uh, is actually need to be configured as low priority so we need to also clear the priority bit so interrupt 1 priority bit need to be cleared because we want to configure it as low priority and then we need to enable it bit set so in con 3 we need to enable the enable bit so we are done with the configure uh, the control bits for interrupt 1 we need to continue with uh, int2 interrupt source 2 so we need to clear the flag as well remember that both of these are in incon 3 so this is interrupt 2 flag we need to clear and because this is set to high priority so we need to bit set incon 3 we need to make sure that the priority bit is set because it is for high priority and then we need to also enable the, the enable bit so bit set 
and the incon3 int2 interrupt enable bit so we are done with configuring the interrupt bit so we still have to do two more things that is we need to enable the global interrupt enable so we're going to write GIEH because we want to enable all interrupt and also we want to enable high priority and we also need to do this in con we also need to enable global low priority interrupt because we have two types of interrupt so in this way we will activate both high and low moving on to part B study the interrupt instruction sequence given below the instruction sequence is to configure interrupt 0 and enable its interrupt analyze why the interrupt is not working as intended so it's not working so let's check one by one bit set archon ipen yes we are enabling so this is correct we are enabling the priority scheme the next one is bit clear in con interrupt 0 enable so this is wrong the problem is here we're supposed to do bit set f we're supposed to enable it bit clear flag okay this is correct but we need to clear the flag and bit set gih correct but there's a problem here gih contains in in con so these are the two corrections that you need to make so you can write the correct one the actual code is bsf in con int0 interrupt enable so earlier the problem was this was disabled and this one is the wrong register so the correct one supposed to be bit set f in con g i e h so if you want you can rewrite back all the four correct lines it's not a problem 